Salut, bonjour, and welcome back to Just Disc. Whether you're new to this game or you've been playing it for a long time, there are a ton of discs to choose from, and it can be difficult to figure out what you actually need or what discs would benefit you the most. Well, today on Just Disc, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about three discs that I think everyone should have in their bag. Now, these are not necessarily the most popular discs like the Destroyers, the Bosses, the Buzzes. These are discs that I feel everyone can benefit from, whether you're a beginner or an experienced player. So let's get into it. Now, the first disc that I feel everyone should have in their bag is simply the classic ABR putt and approach. This thing is the most popular putter in all of disc golf. Now this disc is so popular that they've made so many different variations of it to suit different players' needs. So we have the JK ABR, we have the KC ABR, we have the ABR3, the ABR X3, I mean it goes on forever. But if you're really unsure, just stick with the classic ABR putt and approach and you'll definitely be happy. Now as for the stats, it's a two speed, a three glide, a zero turn and a one fade. So it has that perfect amount of glide to kind of make sure that it gets to the basket and it has that consistent but subtle slight fade at the end. And you want a subtle fade at the end so that you can count on a consistent type of putt. And I love that it doesn't have too much fade because that means that I can get the putter flat for long distances and count on that subtle fade. And I can also add a bit of an Anheuser putt to it to get those further out distances, but again, count on that fade back. You know, personally, this is the only putter that I use. I love the way it feels. I love the consistency. I love the stability when I put it out of my hand. It just works for me. And I prefer it in the Star Plastic because it holds that stability and that flight just a little bit longer than those classic DX plastics. Now, I know we often hear about the AVR from Innova, but there are a ton of other great putters out there to choose from. Discs like the Discraft Jawbreaker or the Dynamic Disc Judge are great putters to choose from if you don't like the AVR. Now the next disc that I feel everyone should have is no surprise, the Mako 3 by Innova. It is the straightest flying mid-range disc that you can buy. So it's great for those touchy backhands and those touchy forehands, uh, especially when you need to get through a specific gap, a specific area, and you don't want the disc to turn or fade too much. Nate Sexton highly recommends this disc. He's made some awesome shots with it, and so do I. It's just a great disc. Now for beginners, someone just getting into the game, this should really be your first disc because it teaches you how to throw flat, straight shots. Now for experienced players, they might say, oh, you know, it turns too much, but really this is meant for those touchy shots, those pinpoint accurate shots when you're releasing the disc well and you need it to just get to that target. For the stats of this disc, it's a five speed, a five glide, a zero turn, and a zero fade. So the five glide, it's gonna hang in the air longer, which is great for beginners, but also with that zero zero, it's gonna fly straight, and it's still gonna have that subtle slight fade at the end if you are a right hand backhand player. And personally, I prefer this disc in the Champion Plastic with the max weight because I want as much stability as I can get. I don't want the disc to easily turn over. But all in all, great disc for experienced and beginner players. And the next disc that I feel everyone should have in their bag is the Sidewinder by Innova. And this disc has really grown on me. It's a fast fairway driver with a lot of glide and a lot of turn. So a beginner player is really gonna like this disc because it's gonna give them more distance with less effort. They're gonna get the chance to throw it flat, maybe even have a bit of turn to it so they can get that maximum distance. Whereas an experienced player may not use it for an accurate type driver, but they may use it for a big hyzer flip where they throw it on a hyzer, it flips up and then turns to the right and then eventually comes back left, allowing for those big bomb type shots or they may even just use it for rollers where they throw it very hard, it then turns over and starts rolling to the basket. So it really has multiple uses, which is a great feature for a disc. Now as for the flight stats, it's a nine speed, a five glide, a minus three turn and a one fade. So, you know, this disc, I will say has so many different uses. It just depends on your skill level and your power. So as shots, straight shots, roller shots, it really just depends on who's throwing the disc. Personally, I got this disc in the Champion Plastic because I want it to be the strongest, the most stable type flight for the longest amount of time. And I also got it in max weight so I don't get too big of turns when I throw the disc at a decent enough speed. 
All right, so there you have it, guys. Those are the three discs that I highly recommend to everyone of all skill levels. They definitely just have so many different uses and they've proven themselves time and time again. Let me know what you think and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Merci beaucoup et à bientôt.